Okay, YouTubers, so I'm sitting here looking at this incredible mess that I've got to put away. Somehow I ended up with a lot more stuff than I left with. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get that situated. But when I got to the rig last night, unfortunately, my uh, freshwater intake valve broke. So I got to run to Walmart and get a water intake valve. Let me show you. Okay, so the water intake valve goes right here and the end cap broke right off of it right here just snapped boom so i'm going to run out to walmart and get a new one and we're going to install it so it's my first rv mod uh and it's only 24 hours since i've been back to the rig not even 24 hours maybe 12. so <laughs> and so it begins okay youtubers rv fans so i'm here at walmart we're uh going to get uh the new water fitting so we'll see you in a few I'll change okay the... so they didn't have what I needed here at Walmart so I guess I'm gonna have to go to Camper World right Jim I guess so Camper World all right so we're here at Camper World and we're gonna see if we can get that piece this is what I got get a measurement got the <laughs> seven inch height and then I got the oxygenics too so and I got some steps some covers for the steps so Carolyn who is the sweetest person at Camping World in Robertsdale Alabama and I gotta tell you you gotta come by and say hi to her just entered me in a drawing for this oilless turkey fryer thanks Carolyn you're welcome <laughs> all right let's get out of here look at that flag that flag is enormous. That's a big flag. That's a lot of wind to keep that thing straight out. Okay, so I just put on the filter and uh, a dual port here. And I'm getting ready to do the fix on, uh, on the uh, connector here. Terminology. Technical terminology. What are you doing right now? This is the new piece that's supposed to connect onto here. And there's, that stopper's pretty old, but we don't have to do it right now. All right, the rubber? Yep. All right. Yeah, so that'll work. All right, so let's get this hooked back in. Here we go, pal. I mean, that was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. So Screw your screws into it. Make it stationary. Well, I want to test it first, make sure it's not going to leak internally. Okay. And hopefully it'll be my pressure regulator on. There you go. I want to test it to make sure that it's not going to leak. But, you know, this needed to be replaced, so it's not like it was a big deal to replace it. Got a touch of seepage here on the bottom. Nothing back here though. No, I don't see nothing there. Nope, that's nice and tight. Okay. So that's good news. Okay, so I've hooked up the water filter to a two way valve. Run the hose all the way up to the completed fix on the city water fill. No leaks, everything looks good. So another RV mod done. Now I got some water, I can take a shower. <laughs> 